Hello, friends. Welcome to my embedded school. Today we learn about one of the most important laws, Kirchhoff's current law, which is used to find current in a circuit that has more than one active or passive element. Kirchhoff's current law states that the algebraic sum of all currents at any node remains zero in any network. We also call this law another way, the sum of all currents entering the node is equal to the sum of all currents leaving the node. We understand this law by taking one example. We connect two resistors in parallel with a 9-volt battery. In this circuit, we will try to find the total current flowing through the circuit. In this circuit, the direction of incoming current to a node is taken as positive, while outgoing currents are taken as negative. We also take this analogy in reverse, like incoming is negative and outgoing is positive. At node A, the incoming current is total current, IT, and outgoing currents are IR1 and IR2. So, we can write this equation according to KCL law. I total equals IR1 plus IR2. According to Ohm's law, we will find currents that flowing through resistors are 1 and R2. Current flowing through resistor, R1, is IR1. IR1 is equal to voltage across R1 divided by R1. By using this equation, we find IR1 equals 4.5 amperes from 9 volts divided by 2 ohms from this operation. IR2 is equal to voltage across R2 divided by R2. By using this equation, we find IR2 equals 3 amperes from 9 volts divided by 3 ohms from this operation. I total equal to IR1 plus IR2. So, total current flowing through this circuit is I total is equal to 7.5 amperes. We will take one more example to better understand this law. In this circuit, we have two nodes. Node A and Node B. First, we apply KCL at Node A. We don't know the direction of the current, I5. So, we assume the direction of the current, I5, is leaving the node. So, we can write the equation this way. The sum of all currents entering the node is equal to the sum of all currents leaving the node. I1 is equal to I2 plus I3 plus I4 plus I5. We get the result from this equation, I5 equals minus 13 amperes. The value of current, I5, is negative, which means the direction of current, I5, is opposite to what we have assumed. If we first assumed that the direction of the current entering the node was positive, then the answer would be positive, and that is, I5 equals 13 amperes. Now we apply KCL at node B. We don't know the direction of the current, I8. So, we assume the direction of the current, I8, is leaving the node. So, we can write the equation this way. I8 plus I5 equals I6 plus I7. We get the result from this equation, I8 equals 6 amperes. The value of I8 is positive, which means direction is right what we assumed. Kirchhoff's law applies to all active and passive elements. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos on basic electronics. Thank you for watching.